Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to put a mouth of a cat on a watermelon. Now, the reason you're doing this is simply to make some kind of a monster or creature out of this. And doing so, uh, we've already gone over this before. You're just going to use a layer mask. So I'm going to click up here on layer 1. You can see I have both these items open. And I'm simply going to put a layer mask on. So now that I have my layer mask on, I'm going to go over here to my paintbrush tool. And I need to make this brush quite a bit larger, so I'm going to do that. And I'm simply going to start painting away. Now you know that all I'm really doing here is painting with black. If I paint with black, that means that it's masking that out so that you can't see it any longer. It's not actually there. It's a, uh, I'm sorry, it's not actually getting rid of it. Right? It's not like erasing, which would be destructive. This is a non-destructive move. So I can always go back and I can add that in later on. I can show you that by simply right-clicking on my mask, click Disable, and you can see it's still there. I'm going to go ahead and enable it again. And I need to move it over just a little bit. Now obviously this is going to be very, very quick. Uh, it's not going to look as good as when you do it, if this is the route that you want to go, but I just wanted to show you quickly. You can also see I've got a little bit of the watermelon showing here, so I need to mask that off. I'm going to click on this item, put a mask on there, and do the exact same thing that I just did. Alright, so I'm going to use that layer mask and get rid of it right here. Now you can see through to the bottom because I don't have anything below there. If I wanted to fix that, uh, I could simply put a new layer there and paint that in. But that's not a big deal to me right now. Alright, so now you can see that I've got my uh, mouth that's basically showing over the watermelon. Now a new item that I'm going to show you that we've not yet messed with is going to be the smudge tool. And the reason that you'd want to use a smudge tool is if you wanted to change the size of uh, anything, stretch it out just a little bit, or generally blur it. The smudge tool is, just going, to be, is going to be this little finger right over here. You can see we also have blur and sharpen on there, and the one we're doing is smudge. And I just want to kind of take, uh, take it and click and drag just a little bit, right? And I'm going to make a little pattern in here that kind of helps pull it all through, all right? So it looks less like a watermelon and more uh, like it could be some kind of a monster or something that's kind of growing out of there. All right, you could also do this. Let's say I needed to make this bigger. You can see that it kind of pulls it out just a little bit. You can keep pulling and pulling and pulling, and it's going to keep smudging it out. Think of it like wet ink uh, on a sheet of paper, and you're putting your finger over it. It'll simply smudge that out at that point. 